So I was today years old when I just randomly thought of a memory thanks to a video I was watching. So in seventh grade in middle school, we had um, a social studies class and of course they asked, what was the big thing that happened in history today? And you know, people were giving a whole bunch of different answers and I was like, it's the 25th anniversary of the gay rodeo. wonder why people gave me a weird response. It was history. Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please think about sticking around, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I see a lot of you who are watching my videos, but y'all need to subscribe, please. It helps me out tremendously, so take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get to a thousand and I'm getting closer every day. And thank you for everybody who has taken the time out of their day to just hit that subscribe button. I want you to do that, not just for me, but support your other small YouTubers. Support your family and friends and your small business people by doing the free thing, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, commenting. This is 30 seconds out of your day to be able to really help someone out. And you really are supporting people, small channels and businesses. I have cats and dogs that I have to put through college people. So take a moment to do that. So today we are going to talk about the subject I was today years old when I learned dot dot dot. Now this is something that has been um, popular recently. I've seen several different um, versions of this. Like today years old, I'll give you an example that in FedEx, there is actually a triangle or a arrow that points towards a direction inside of the negative spaces of the word FedEx. I didn't know that for a very long time until somebody pointed it out. And now I'm like, oh, okay, now I see it. So I was today years old when I found that out. Um, so what I did was collected some I was today years old um, from the queer community or things that I am shocked that people didn't know. So this isn't necessarily me saying I was today years old. This is stuff that I've collected. But before we go on, we are gonna have a quick ad from Fiverr. So if you guys have never been on Fiverr.com, please go and do that after you watch this video. You can find anything on Fiverr. And Fiverr literally means $5. So you can get several different items or services that you were looking for for only $5. That's cheaper than a cup of coffee, depending on what type of coffee that you're getting. And you can get expert advice, or you can get some very unique items, or you might get someone like me who has some awesome stuff to offer there. It's like, you know, Etsy, eBay, and e-learning all in one for $5. So go to www.fiverr.com and check it out. All right, so there is no order. I have a top 10, but I didn't do, you know, one the best, 10 least, whatever. Let's just go and we will talk about I was today years old when I learned. Number one. Pirates were gay. I can't believe I have to say this out loud, but for some reason, people don't seem to understand that when you put a group of people on a ship or you put a group of people in a solitude situation, they're going to do the hibbity jibbity. It doesn't matter what gender identity that you have it all it's gonna happen and in fact gay marriage was known about and it actually happened between pirates and the term was and i for, please forgive me if i'm not saying this correctly melee 
Um, this is was respected between the community and the people on the pirate ships that these two people were in a union of marriage. That meant that they shared everything. They were viewed as a couple or legally one person. So if one person passed away, the other person would inherit to everything. They could also um, be attentive to each other's health care and things like that. So very, very um, modern concepts that happened a long time ago. However, they were more open about it back then than they are today, or at least we're getting better. But the pirates back in the day were gay. There were also women pirates, guys. Women. So I hope you kind of throw some of those notions out of your mind. But then if you really think about some things like, you know, Peter Pan, even though that's probably the most disturbing story ever, that Captain Hook and his men have been stuck in Neverland for a very long time with each other. And there's some SME going on there. All right, number two, lavender marriage. Lavender marriage was a, a term coined by a newspaper in the 1930s and was used until Stonewall. This term was used to indicate a person who was queer. Now, a lavender marriage was something that was created by movie studios like MGM to be able to marry several of their people who were gay, queer, bi, you know, the whole, the whole gamut. So you would have one or two willing participants who knew about everything, you know, knew about each other's sexual identity and orientation, get married, to be able to pass as straight, but they both knew each other's histories. One might have been a straight, the other one was gay. And this happened for a very, very, very long time. And um, Lavender Marriage was uh, the term that the studios used. Eventually, the term was dropped. However, today in 2021, there are still real lavender marriages happening because it's still damaging for certain stars to be part of the LGBTQIA plus community. So think about that. Number three, the green M&M and the brown M&M are in a relationship, both women both in a relationship. I, I didn't know, people didn't know that. Um, number four, the golden age of Hollywood was filled, filled with queer people, but they were quiet, closeted, or they used it to their advantage for the almighty casting couch. Women were passed around, but so were men. And yes, some of these people were willing participants in their own demise. And this is a whole other topic of conversation, but I'm talking about people who are willing participants and who were willingly sleeping with whoever to be able to get to where they wanted, not talking about anything, you know, dark. However, they still had to cover up their queerness and several people who are huge mega stars are identified as queer even though history is trying to erase that so people like james dean marilyn monroe cary grant rex harrington danny Kay, kathy hepburn and many others oh elizabeth taylor were queer but it wasn't talked about or it was the worst kept secret. The thing is, people knew about this. It just was denied, 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 denied. In fact, there is information that has come out recently that the reason James Dean died that day is he was... He was um, getting a happy ending. Yeah. And um, there are several books out there 
for you to take a look at and see if that is the case. So just putting that out there. And number five, Stewie Griffin from Family Guy is based off of Rex Harrington. Now, if you guys don't know who Rex Harrington is, go take a look at him and you will automatically see the similarities between Stewie Griffin and Rex Harrington. And while people have speculated about Stewie Griffin's sexuality for a very long time, Seth MacFarlane has made it very clear that he is gay. So, you know, just let you guys know there is gay cartoon characters out there. Number six, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Now, this is a cult classic movie. Everybody has seen it. And, um, because of the time it was made and the extremely low budget, there was questions about this particular color. However, there is no denying that Dr. Frankenfurter is wearing a triangle. Now, it is supposed to be a red triangle, but it comes across pink in some movies. It comes across as red in other viewings. It just depends on what version you have or if it's, you know, cleaned up, a little bit of HD, whatever. But the point is this triangle is supposed to be there and it is very symbolic. So the triangle that is red upside down was an indicator in Nazi Germany concentration camps to show that this particular male is gay. So in Rocky Horror Picture Show, they took the power back and placed a red triangle right side up to indicate no fear and pride instead of fear and death. So that was a very purposeful thing to have in there. And now that you've learned the meaning of it, it's a lot deeper, darker, but a more thought provoking than most people have ever thought. And I was today years old when I learned that. So number seven, the colors of the pride flag in the beginning, the original pride flag were a bit different. But did you know what the colors meant or still mean on the pride flag? Let me tell you, pink equals sex, red equals life, orange is healing, yellow is the sun, green is nature, turquoise is art and magic, blue is serenity, and purple is the spirit. It actually has a very beautiful meaning. And while people like to be upset that the rainbow has been used for pride, there isn't anything more beautiful than that. It is a promise of a new beautiful life and once you start living free you earn the stripes of the rainbow number eight harley quinn yes that harley quinn and poison ivy are officially an item people have been going back and forth about this for years but eventually dc comics had, has put out that they are, yes, indeed, a couple. And now they have several adventures together as a couple. This is the healthiest relationship that Harley Quinn has ever been in. And that is something that needs to be shown, even though they are both villains or the anti-hero in maybe not being in the best functional way, it is important to show a safe and healthy lesbian relationship between both Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy because it's needed. Number nine, Umbrella Academy on Netflix is one of my absolutely favorite shows. But one of the really cool things is if you go back and watch season one and two that um, Elliot Page's name has been updated already. So we don't have to worry about dead names on there. That is quick Netflix 
I tried to make that rhyme. That was quick Netflix, but it didn't work out. Um, but good work. Good job, Netflix, for taking that so seriously and making that happen fast. That's great. We're really appreciative of that. And number 10, there are 69 countries where it is still illegal to be queer and you can be put to death. This is why you don't need straight pride. You are not living a life that will get you condemned or killed. That can happen anyway. Yes, I understand that. But the default is heterosexual. And people who are queer have to work harder to be accepted. And they run the risk of violence against themselves for living outed. And that still includes people in the United States, but there are 69 countries where you can be killed, put to death by your government because you are queer. I just wanted to leave that thought with you because when so many people make the stupid quips about, well, we need straight pride and why does pride, why do gay people get an entire month? Education, folks, educate yourselves. It's important. And if your relationship can get you murdered in 69 countries, you might be a little worried about that too. So no, there's no straight pride. Support people, be a good person. Stop judging so harshly. Let people be who they are and let them be able to take this moment that's sharded by a black trans woman, which apparently a lot of people didn't know either. Go study Stonewall. Understand why the bricks were thrown. Understand why we are in the minority and why it's so dangerous to just be the person that you are. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this list and I might do some fun. Today I found out, I was today years old when I found out lists later on after Pride Month, but right now this is what we're doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in this world. And don't forget that Jeff Goldblum loves you. Everybody have a great night. Remember, every single day is a gift. Use your time wisely. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.